Hey guys, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening, and we are about to talk to Marin. Oh Link, I'm glad you found this place. Will you stay and talk to me for a while? Yes, of course. I wonder where these coconut trees came from. Karen says there is nothing beyond the sea, but I believe there must be something over there. When I discovered you, Link, my heart skipped a beat. I thought, this person has come to give us a message. If I was a seagull, I would fly as far as I could. I would fly to faraway places and sing for many people. If I wished to the windfish, I wonder if my dream will come true. Hey, are you listening? Like, are you listening to me? Um, yeah. I want to know everything about you. Er, uh... <laughs> huh? The walrus wants me to go to him? It doesn't matter. I will go with you to him. <laughs> so we got Marin. <laughs> Is this your big chance? So yeah, um, I guess we're kind of taking Marin on a date. Got 50 rubies. I don't think there's much more over that way. Not that we can really get to. Sorry if the jumping gets in the way, I just, I don't know, it's fun. More fun than walking straight, anyway. Now, I know in the DX version there's a little funny clip here. I'm not sure if it's in the original, but we'll see. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Link? Uh, in the color DX version, there's a, um, there's a guy who takes photos of stuff, and that's one of the pictures you can get. He's, um, his shop is up near Gopanga Swamp. So um, if any of you get your hands on the DX version, you can check that out. And Marin can teleport just like we can. Or, ah, it's her, little Marin. Yep, everybody in Animal Village likes her. Here we go. Yes, it's that lazy walrus. Shall we give him a little surprise? Yeah, sure. And the walrus keels over into the bay. <laughs> Wow, he certainly woke with a start. Huh? Oh, he's calling me. It's the same as always. <laughs> Link, I'm going to the animal village. Please drop by, okay? And uh, she just goes and kind of hangs out in the square and sings for everybody. So now here we have that desert. I don't think these are actually... I'm not sure if they're intended to be Pokies, like from Mario, but as you can see, they kind of resembled them. Annoyance! You are only... 
what do you say? Annoyance, you are only getting in the way. Um, okay. Um, yeah, you don't want to get near the middle of this because you fall in a hole if you get in there. You can get out. Um, there's a... Well, I'll show you where it leads, but I'm going to kill this guy first. There we go. You've got the angler key! And yeah, there's pretty much no way to avoid falling in that hole. But then you just come over here and walk right back out. You just gotta be careful not to fall in the hole before you beat the guy. Sea bears foam, sleep bears dreams. Both end in the same way. Crash. Um, okay. A little cryptic. Not sure what it's talking about. I believe there is a seashell or something down here. There we go. And a secret seashell. The shape of the key shows a fish swimming up a cascade of water. Go now to the mountain waterfall. A leap from the top and you will reach your goal. Huh. Interesting. drop by and see you anytime. Not for now, we're just gonna head on back to the village. Now, um, he's probably gone, but, um, you remember that when we first came in here, uh, there was a guy up here, and we didn't talk to him, but if you had, he would have told you that he's going to wind up getting lost in the mountains, and you should keep an eye out for him. And that's actually where he is right now. He's up in the mountains, and he's lost. And we've got to rescue him. Don't ask me how he knew that he's going to get lost in, for in the mountains later, but somehow he did. I guess the same way that the kids knew how to save your game, even though they don't know what it means to save your game, and all that stuff. Wacky humor at Nintendo at the time of this. Uh, <laughs> at the time this game was made, I guess. is where the windfish is up here. Yes, it is. Hoot! The windfish sleeps long and dreamily in the egg above. When you play the eight siren instruments in front of the egg, he will awaken. This, my friend, is the only way for you to leave the island. Hoo! Okay, uh, well, we're out of time, so I'm just gonna go up here to get the egg on my map. Um, but that's about it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.